What's going on guys? Welcome back to another LS Swap video. So, as you guys seen in the last video, I got the motor out. It's sitting right there. I disconnected the transmission from the back. That was held on with like, I don't know, six or so bolts. Not a big deal. Um, got that separated. Pushed this car out. All I did was I sprayed it down with some degreaser and pressure washed the crap out of it. And it still isn't perfectly clean. It's I got a lot of work ahead of me and it's still not even dry. But uh, I still got stuff that I got to get off, like all that. So I got quite a bit of work ahead of me before I get to painting this thing. Um, but I think for now, first thing I'm going to start with, because I got to get this ready for paint, I'm going to take this huge AC condenser off and I actually have a box sitting over there. Actually, I think it's that one right there, that long one. Um, that is for this. Rather than have this big old box in the way, I'm gonna take the big box out. I'll show you what I got, and then I will work on removing that and install the new one. So let me show you what I got real quick. Here's the box. So what this is, let me get it just brought out of here real quick. Again, opening packages with one hand is uh, it's a struggle. But, uh, it's a big piece of plastic, that's all it is. So what this does, it down is it replaces that big huge thing with that i'm not sure it's going to fit perfect i've kind of lined it up and it doesn't look exact but i mean i'll see i'll see how it fits the big ac condenser is now off it really wasn't that hard and only had a couple bolts holding it on to the firewall and i think four bolts holding the two halves together around it uh, and then it just kind of pops off uh, it's got some sealer that goes all the way around it um, so I went ahead and I took just the scraper, kind of scraped it off. So now I'm going to take and set my new one up there, which I've got sitting right here. Just kind of see how it sits and where it lays. So it's got two notches over here for these bolts. And it looks like they don't line up perfect. Ugh, but they will line up. And then... It should set flush, and it had some sealer on there originally, so I will be sure to set some sealer in there whenever I go to finally set it in. I'm going to get this engine firewall painted prior to actually installing this, so let me get it set up there and kind of stuck in place with a couple of bolts so we get an idea about how it's going to look. So let me get this stuck up there. Okay, as you can see, it's now setting up there, and... I like it a heck of a lot better than that old bulky one that I had up there because I didn't have AC, as I said a second ago. So this is going to give me a lot more room on this side. And all the room I can get in here, I'll take it. Um, it's a cleaner look, cleaner setup. So I'm going to get this all kind of stripped down now, get all this crap that's still left over that i got to clean out because the next step is going to be, I believe, painting this engine bay. So let me go ahead and get this somewhat cleaned up. And... Show you how it looks after I start cleaning it and get it ready for paint. So where I'm at with this is I have got it all most cleaned up and I've taken some scotch Brite. Let me see if I can find my scotch Brite pad. Taking the scotch Brite right here and I have gone over it and I've got it pretty clean. So now the next step is I'm going to take this paint. This is what I'm going to be using for the frame. I'm just going to hit the frame for now. I'm going to be using this black engine paint. Um, it's an enamel. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with this and see how the frame is going to turn out.
All right, guys. So hopefully this shows up decent on camera. It is just a quick paint job. It's I could have used like a bed liner or something on the bottom, but I chose not to. Um, I chose not to use a bed liner on this just because I am painting over a couple of my bolts just to kind of get them hidden. And if I use a bed liner, it's really thick. And the bolts would then get stuck in place. So for instance, this bolt here, if I paint it over that, it will get stuck there. It'd be a pain in the butt to get off. But, I mean, it's coming out fairly good. You know, I'm gonna let it dry and I'm probably gonna have to jack it up and take the wheels off so that I can get to the control arms on both sides because I'd like to get those painted black as well. So let me get this thing jacked up, get the wheels off and continue on with this painting. Okay, and this is where I'm gonna leave off for the night. So I've got one of my inner fenders painted, my frame is painted, and my back firewall is painted black. And then I've got the brake booster painted silver. And I've got my radiator support painted black and my transmission cleaned up. So I'm gonna conclude this painting video as it is. I'm done and I'm pleased. So I just gotta get things ready to be assembled and put back in. Hope that you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and as always guys, subscribe, and if you're new to subscribe, be sure to click that bell notification. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, have a good day.